Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to Rome Total War 2. So we are back with Carthage. It's been a while since I've actually played it with these guys. So I thought we'd take them back out. Means I couldn't really decide who else to pick. Um, I could have gone for pikes down the middle, but I decided in the end not to. And I decided to go for the sort of late hoplites instead. We've then got Libyan infantry who are going to form sort of the bulk of the flanks. Uh, with you, one of my little barbarians, right on the far edge. Not the same on this one. Slightly different. I'm a slightly odd unit numbers because of the way the money panned out, but still, you get the idea. Set the cavalry up on the flanks. Quite a lot of these medium Carthaginian cavalry. Only got one unit. My general is the very heavy shock cavalry. So the rest, we've got to be a bit careful. These guys are not amazing cavalry. These Carthaginians, I don't find. They're not like Numidian uh, stuff. So we've got to be a little, little bit careful. Um, and we've got a spare uh, mercenary unit there on the end there as well. Okay, so we're looking pretty reasonable at that. Let's set you into a group. And that is pretty much everyone set up how we want it to be. I think we are playing against the Egyptians, if I remember correctly. Um, so we're going to kind of see what we get. I'm kind of expecting pikes. As I say, yeah, I could have picked pikes with these guys, but the only pikes Carthaginians have available them are quite expensive, like heavily armoured phalanx pikes. And I personally believe pikes should just be, you should always get the really cheap ones because they're just to block a wall, not really to do anything. Um, so I kind of didn't see the point in that. Like I said, I went for these heavy uh, Carthaginian top lines because they at least have some decent offensive capability as well. So we'll see how these guys get on. Manage to uh, get one later unit as well. Looking pretty well armoured, so I think they hopefully do as proud. Then, of course, we've got the Libyan infantry, these heavy, uh, actually very heavy, uh, sword infantry on the flanks. These are kind of the mainstay of my attacking force. Decent weapon damage, decent sort of, uh, armour and melee attack, so kind of a reasonable all-round unit. So, let's get this battle started up. Um, and hopefully the other player is loaded in and ready. There we are. Okay, quite a strange layout in a way. Uh, on to guardhood. So at the front, we have got uh, pikemen, as we kind of thought, as we were kind of expecting. And behind them, we've got some Cretan archers, very good quality archers. And beside damage, 40. They're going to be painful to deal with. Although slingers, as I've shown before, to do well. Then we've got like this staggered formation of thorax spears. Some Ptolemaic heavy shock cavalry. Medium citizen cavalry on the flanks. And a few skirmisher cavalry out there as well. Hmm. Not sure what we make of that, to be honest. Let's push our slingers up here in case he's silly enough to, uh, for us to come into range. Set them on to attack, hopefully. Nice if they did come into range. I would have thought they would struggle to get into range. They must be about in range. Go on. Set them on fire because they're going to muller my little Gallic mercenaries. Right, and. Follow them how I want them to be. Ideally, I want to push this one round. Come on, get around that one. I want to try and funnel them towards my slingers, you see. Go on. My slingers are doing a terrible job of this. Back these guys off. Not really going quite how I had planned, actually. No, that's not really worked out. Okay. I think we should just ignore them. They're not really going to do a lot to us, and I'm just worrying about nothing. Let's get these guys formed back up and then let's start the advance. Really, we want to try and deal with these Christian archers. I think once we've got them, it looks like, to be honest, we have a good numbers superiority, but we don't necessarily do. Get everyone moving up. Shift ourselves over slightly. Start to push your way up. Well, obviously, I'm expecting some stuff to be hidden in these forests, to be honest. But I think, given that he's going to be starting to sort of mess around with his. Um, uh, ranged units, his skirmisher cavalry, I think we're as well to just get on the offensive. I think that's going to neutralise a lot of that sort of threat. My worry is he's going to have a lot more skirmishes in these forests, but I don't know if he necessarily is. Furious spears. Those Soic swordsmen are going to be hard to deal with. It, this can't be all of his infantry. I would have thought, because we're just going to outnumber him too much otherwise. Yeah. Hmm. 
Let's see. Let's start trying to hit these crucial archers on the end here then. Gotta be a little bit careful about getting too far uh, forwards with these guys. Come on, you should be in range at that. Stop, start to form up, start to prepare to fire. Come on, we should get a reasonable damage in a volley out of these crucial archers, I would have thought. He's moving up some of these infantry. He's fine. That wasn't terribly effective. Okay, a little bit of damage. Here's the return volley. See, they're going to do a lot of damage to me in this. I'm not sure this is sort of a, a fight I'm going to be able to win in that capacity. Not sure what he's going to do with these units, whether he's moving these up just as sort of as a threat. It's going to be pretty close, to be honest. I kind of wish I'd brought four ranged units now, because that would give me the superiority. Be a little bit careful his units here. Yeah, because we're really starting to rack up some casualties there now. He's starting to get the lead a little bit. I think we'll just fight them until they break, because I'd rather break down the units. At least it would give me less to deal with, even if our guys are going to end up routing here themselves. Being a pest with his little uh, skirmisher cavalry, but he knows he is. Doing the right thing. Some of our slingers there, broken and shattered. Bit unfortunate. Hoping I'm out of range of these very end units, so it's going to give me a slight temporary numbers advantage if he doesn't push this unit up. I've not seen anything else come into play yet, so so far it is just this stuff. These guys have got really good morale. Maybe I should be looking to change um, targets to these other more. There we go. They've shattered. So we've got the Ptolemaic Cavalry starting to push forward a little bit, possibly there. Our slingers hopefully getting into position to start volleying these other Crucian archers. So it's one for one in terms of units. Um, yeah, pretty much one for one. Because of a bit of an angle here, I think these other units here can't actually start to hit me. That means I'm fighting two versus one in a way. Yeah, he's moving those other units up now, he's realised. It's giving me a light, slight early lead, though, that may prove very useful. Go oh, on, keep that firing. Nice. We're getting a good bit of damage in there. What's he doing with these guys? Nothing really with them. Once this sort of skirmish, initial skirmish is sort of petered out, then we will look at uh, starting to push... Be a pest with these, isn't he? I'm gonna push one that way. Let's pull our guys back. He's gonna start uh, threatening with his skirmisher cavalry. Okay, basically, let's go for it. Everyone will advance. And then we'll start to select our targets that we're gonna be taking when we go up. I would engage the uh, the medium cavalry if he wants to fake a fight. Oh, where's other stuff? What's that? Surya spears. Okay. And citizen cavalry and some Egyptian cavalry up there. That's fine. Let's get these guys back. I know our general's under attack. Fuck off. Okay. You. 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 Everyone else keep moving up. This is where things are going to get tough now. This is where uh, my abilities are going to start to get stretched now as a commander. Oh, why is the cavalry there? Oh, no, wrong. Oh, God, I made a disastrous move. Stop! Massive mismanagement going on. Get in the fight. You forwards. You forwards. Come on. I just did a terrible job of that. Right, what's going on here? Can't see because I'm in a forest. Pull our cavalry back onto the open ground. Because I just can't deal with them at the moment. We'll just get them to chase them. I know they're not going to do anything there. That's fine. I need to overwhelm. Is my only hope here. Because obviously I'm fighting... Um, need to get start to get flanking round, you see. Because what are they? Libyan heavy infantry are probably not going to beat the thoraxes sort of out and out. Okay, let's get them getting them guys engaging there. Right, where's our own cavalry here? Cavalry, 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 cavalry. What's our other cavalry doing? Nothing. Useful. Let's get these guys in. And let's get you targeting those crucian archers, because that's what's uh, becoming quite big at the moment. And we'll get those guys to rear flank in. Wow, this is an intense fight. Not one that's going well either. Right, let's just overwhelm these Thoro swords here at the back. Come on, we've got some quality units here. Our medium Gallic warriors should easily be able to get the javelins in and start to smash those Thoro swords. Uh, 
We've got our own guys here. You engage there. Bring you guys back because we've got this enemy cavalry coming in here. So I want to kind of counter that. You though are going to go and recharge them. And you can engage them. That's fine. Let's get our general to counter charge them. Hopefully we should really win that cavalry fight there against this medium cavalry. And we should be overwhelming them at that point. Over here, obviously, I'm losing against these guys. I knew that was going to happen. In many ways, it's a shame to throw just my units away like that, but there's a reasoning for it. Who is it who's not got an order? You. Okay, how are these guys here doing? They're not so well because they're kind of reflect as well. A general should start to be getting some damage in on them, hopefully. These guys here should start to finish off some of their cavalry. The Thuros swords are having a bit of a hard time. Uh, but we're not exactly doing tremendous amounts of damage. And some of our guys here are starting to struggle a little bit. We're now rear flanked. What have we rear flanked? And Thoric swordsmen. There's so many Thoric swordsmen and they're really hard for me to deal with. I'm having a bit of a hard time against those swords there as well. Um, and now those pikes are on the move and they're starting to get in and amongst my uh, general. Get the cavalry up and moving. What have we got here? Some of the pikemen are on the move. Okay, good move on their part. Let's try and get in and on the flanks here with some of these Thuria swords. Mm. Not looking quite so good there. Let's try and get in on the flanks there. Nice of these Thuria swords there were wavered and broken. Oh, is that's out of range, is it? Yeah, we go. Good job, General. Good job. Okay, let's get think about getting yourself possibly out of here. You know, we're still fighting those Egyptian cavalry. Those pikes are going to be a pain, but for now, I think we're okay. Split here. Uh, you're going to recharge them, actually. Engage them, guys. Those little uh, slingers there. And you're going to come around the back there and get those guys got into a fight. Have I got a spare unit of cavalry? Oh, I've got some infantry come back. Nice. We'll get recharged ourselves, but I'll deal with... At least we'll get the charge into the enemy infantry first. And they're only a medium spear unit, so it might be enough to do them quite a bit of damage. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, our Libyan veterans here having a bit of a time against the Thoric swords. Kind of to be expected, though. Just come on, don't get caught in the pikes if you can, please. If you have got enough strength to get stuck into this fight here, do have a charge of those uh, crucian archers, at least we'll stop them firing for a little bit of time. And what are they? Ah, oh, enemy skirmisher cavalry. Bloody hell. Come on, need those Thoric swordsmen to break, which they've just done. Um, the problem being, we're now going to start getting hit by these guys when we really need to start pulling these guys out. At least some of them to clear these pikemen, because we need to start flanking those pikemen if we want to get anywhere. Starting to rout a lot now. This is not looking good. Come on. Get out of the fight. Those blimmin' cavalry they're doing, they're playing their part very well. Come on, get in the rear. Oh wow, we lost our entire general. Those pikes obviously did a better job than I thought they were going to. Let's pull them up. Oh. They did a good job with their pikes. Better than I, I did, managed to do. Some of their units are really holding on for like indefinitely. Even though we managed to rear flank look these pikes, we're not really, not really getting very many kills against them. They're not dying as quickly as really I need them to be if, if I wanted to have any success there. No, it's not going to really work for me, even those Thurio swords. We're not really having a lot of fun there. And then we're getting a bit too caught up here. I'm going to pull these guys out. For better or for worse, I'm just going to have a go at rear flanking these guys here. Just in case I can get away with it temporarily. We'll get a spear throw, you see. It might be enough just to break them, and then that's going to give me two units to play with there. But look, our entire group here is basically routed. And even though we're now behind on these uh, this pipe formation, we're not really getting as many kills as we need. 
Yeah, we did a good job breaking there. That was what we should have done, but you need to pull out now. Get those guys to engage. Try and flat these guys around. But it's just looking so bad now. I'm just trying to save sort of what I can. Yeah, they're not going to hold on, you see. That's unfortunate. If they were to hold, then maybe it would work. But it... Yeah, look, they've broken before I can actually get round. So now I can't flank. And look, they've managed to sort of instantly reposition their flank. And there they've gone. Damn! Well, we've had a really good run. So it's probably about time we were due for a defeat. That was still a really good fight. I did enjoy that. Those uh, pikemen really actually won it for them, I think. Um, they, they, they just held so long and did so much more damage than I was perhaps expecting that it didn't really pan out for me. Yeah, you can see some of the damages they got up. Maybe I shouldn't have engaged with the higher, my... Uh, my own units from the front quite the same, but I was just trying to hold them up really, but it didn't really seem to pan out because I didn't then get enough wins on the flanks because they sort of managed to stagger themselves quite well. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that battle. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for lots more Total War content and I shall see you all on the next video.